It is Sunday. Um, I don't know how long my camera's gonna last on my dashboard like this because it's not strapped down at all. But I did want to make sure I got a video in today, and I my camera tripod is broken, and I've been kind of on the move all day today. Um, but I still wanted to make sure I recorded a video. Lord, I ain't got no gas. Lord have mercy. And again, I've never shot in the car with my camera this far away on the dashboard, so I'm hoping that the sound is not muffled. Maybe I should stop it. Okay, so it doesn't sound half bad. Let's just hope that the camera stays still. Um, but yeah, so it's Sunday, it's Super Bowl Sunday. So far today, I have studied some, as in listened to the lecture. I cooked breakfast, I went grocery shopping, <laughs> and now I'm on my way to a friend's house just to catch the Super Bowl. I do have clinical tomorrow at 6.30 in the morning. That's the one bad thing about my schedule. But I will say I'd rather have clinicals on Mondays at 6.30 than instead of Tuesdays because if I had it on Tuesdays, and I feel sorry for the Tuesday clinical group because if I had clinical on Tuesday, <clears throat> then I would be going to clinical for 12 hours on Tuesday, then having to get up and go to class on Wednesday and still have class on Thursday. So that would be a really long run. And we also have all our tests are gonna fall on Wednesdays. So I couldn't imagine going to clinical all day on a Tuesday and not being able to really get some good studying in the day before the test. So I'm gonna be grateful, but the one thing is that sometimes on Sundays, I have to call my Sundays in early um, or I just have to be tired all day on Monday because I'll stay up late on Sunday. But I do have everything together for school tomorrow. My uniform is laid out, my book bag is packed. Um, as far as dinner, I will probably try to take a plate home from the, from the cookout, not from the cookout, well from the Super Bowl party, I'll probably try to take a plate or, you know, we do have clinical at the hospital so the hospital has a cafeteria and the food's not half bad so I might just get something to eat at the hospital I don't know I'm gonna try not to do that I also live it doesn't matter anyway so I did want to make I wanted to do a video on my strengths and weaknesses as a nurse um, I feel like this will be a real relatable video for anyone who is currently a nurse but I also feel like this will give people who aren't a who haven't been nursing or um, who are thinking about getting into the career field of nursing, um, just kind of give them a heads up on, you know, some things that would make a, a nurse a good nurse and some things that would make a nurse a bad nurse and also just the things that I'm working on to become a better nurse. Um, so yeah, so as far as my weaknesses, my number one weakness I will say, which is probably the one of the worst weaknesses to have as a nurse, but I'm working on it. And at my job, it's a, it's not as big of a deal at my job as it may be at majority of the nursing jobs, but it is my, um, my punctuality. I am very, I'm late to work. Um, and right now my excuse is I'm late to work because I go to class all day and I would like to take a little bit of time to get some sleep and I hit the snooze button every night. Like I already don't wake up till 10.30 because I, I live 10 minutes away from my job. So that, that's, already as an, it, that's already an excuse for me to wake up late. Um, but I already wake up at 10.30 and I gotta be there at 11, but then I hit the snooze button, I, I gotta brush my teeth, I gotta, sometimes my uniform is an iron. So, you know, it, it'll be little stuff and I will, I'm like usually like 15 minutes late to work. Like that is a terrible habit of mine. And being a late nurse is frowned upon. They really expect you to be 15 minutes early so you can get report and be ready and prepared to start your shift or at least start like getting your data on your patients or residents, wherever you may work, um, by the start of your shift. So that is my number one weakness as a nurse is my punctuality, my timing, what time I get to work, I'm late. My second weakness, 
my camera memory is full. I still have yet to buy a new memory card, but whatever, it's whatever. So, um, my second weakness as a nurse would be my organization. Um, I'm not terribly unorganized just because my anxiety won't allow me to be that unorganized, but there are people that I work with that are extremely organized and, and they're just like, really on top of it and one thing that I'm working on to get me more organized is creating see at the nursing home we have 25 residents so that's a lot of residents usually at the hospital you might have like four or five so you can create a brain with a lot of space to write on however at the in long-term care we tend to use report sheets and since we usually have so uh, more than your normal, more, since we usually have a good number of residents that we have to take care of, our report sheets don't allow for a lot of space to write on. However, that's still no excuse for the fact that I don't write a lot of stuff down. So really, for me to become more organized, I have to write everything down. You know, I'm very good. I'm very. I'm the type of person where if I take someone's blood pressure. I try to remember it um, until I get to the computer to type it in the computer. But then whenever I get to report, I'm not able to remember the exact blood pressure or the exact blood sugar um, because without having to go to the computer and looking it up. However, if I would have it written down, <clears throat> if I would have it written down, then whenever it comes to a given report, I, it'll be there already. I won't have to try to memorize it or say, oh, their blood pressure was low, but I can't remember how low it was, which is... It doesn't look like you're very thorough, even though you did go and take the blood pressure on your own. <clears throat> it just doesn't look like you're very, it doesn't come off as you being thorough as a nurse. It doesn't look good. And so, yeah. Yeah. So, definitely getting more organized and really just writing everything down. Because my thoughts are pretty organized. My, um, the way I delegate, the way I think, is pretty organized. It makes a lot of sense. However, you know, sometimes, you know, writing stuff down and really, you know, using a brain, using a report sheet will keep it all organized. Because when you have like, normally at the, the facility that I work at, I'm normally responsible for about 24 to 26 residents. And if I'm working with a med aide, then I'm responsible for up to like 55 residents. And trying to memorize you know who's on feeding tubes how much flush this person gets how who's on blood pressure medications all that stuff yes yeah, in the computer but if you have it right there at your fingertips it would be a lot easier a lot easier um something else that i am personally working on as far as being a nurse is um my critical thinking and really honestly i ask i like in, in school right now, this semester, we kind of had to write out a plan for ourselves and what we want to work on as a nurse. And anytime someone asks me what I want to, what I really like, what I want to get stronger at, I always tell them critical thinking. And their response to me is always, well, it takes time. You know, it takes time to get your critical thinking skills up to par and it also takes you working in the type of atmosphere that requires you to critically think and personally I mean I've done a video on my resume as a nurse you know I've told you guys you know when I first got out of nursing school for two years I worked at a plasma center that was my first job I worked there for two years and then when I was like okay it's time for me to go back to school I tried to get into like the nursing home um into the nursing homes and the nursing home that I got in, the first nursing home that I got in, I worked on the rehab floor and it was like easy peasy. It didn't require much critical thinking. Um, you know, the, the people were, were the, they were out of the hospital, but they were, they weren't, it wasn't acute care at all. Like, you know, some did require dressing changes. Some just required like insulins and blood sugars. They were able, they were all alert and oriented. Very rarely did anybody get admitted that was not alert and oriented, able to make, excuse me, able to make their needs known like that very rarely. Um, I very rarely saw that. So, you know, fast forward up until, up, you know, I got my nursing license in 2014. Up until about 2017, I had never really seen 
done anything as a nurse. You know, I did work in dialysis, I did do home health, but even in those jobs, you know, I very rarely had to do anything outside of the ordinary. I very rarely had to do anything that required me to critically think. And so I started working into and working in the harder nursing homes. And so I started working in the nursing homes that the physician is not gonna allow you to send someone out because they require fluids. You know, until so I start work somewhere where they really want you to do as much as you can in house. And even now, being that I work night shift and the physician very rarely picks up the phone at night, I still probably send people out to the hospital more than the average nurse at my facility just because I very rarely work with a super. Well, recently we've been working with supervisors, but normally in the past when I first started working there, we didn't have supervisors every night that you can go to and ask we didn't have an rn that answered the phone all the time we didn't we don't have a physician that answers the phone very late at night or very early in the morning so if i have a question about something or i really just don't know i will try to crit critically think it out i will also try to ask my fellow nurses that i'm working with that night but majority of the time if nobody knows what to do we send them out you know it has nothing i'm not bragging about that that's not good they don't like for you to send people out but you know, if I don't know what to do, I'm gonna send you out, period. Cause I know that, I know what we have in that facility and I know what we don't have in that facility. And I know other than like CPR, if you start coding on me, like I have nothing, you know, other than my crash card to, to bring you, to bring you back. And you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want that. Like I try to avoid having to do chest compressions on somebody as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, like that's, you know, we've been having to do it a lot lately and it's, it's no fun because we have to do it until the ambulance gets there anyway. So, might as well send them out to avoid all of that stuff. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, another thing that I would say that I'm working on as a nurse is also, it kind of ties into critically thinking or becoming a better critical thinker. It's just trusting my own judgment trusting my own intuition if something if a, if a resident tells me um i'm in pain or you know if a resident tells me i'm in pain and then they turn around and they go right back to sleep i'm not gonna be as concerned as a resident who you know never complains of pain who doesn't have any pain medicine prescribed to them prn because they don't ever complain about pain like you know and i'm not gonna i'm gonna use my judgment on whether or not you know <clears throat> that person is in pain i think that's a bad example because pain is actually very serious you're supposed whatever the person says is pain for them you're supposed to believe them so that was a very bad example however like just trust in my own gut like if something just doesn't seem right with a resident if they're normally up and talking they're normally um, alert and oriented and they're not very confused they usually know what they're talking about and all of a sudden today they're a little woozy you know they're a little confused they may be even a little combative I'm gonna know okay let me I'm gonna trust my judgment in whether or not you know look I'm just gonna trust my judgment and okay, think like okay this resident might really have something wrong or you know somebody's blood just trust in my judgment period like I can give you a million examples but that is something that also I tie it with critical thinking because the better you get at critical thinking, the better you, the more you know, the more you trust yourself because you know what you know. You don't know what you don't know, but you know what you know. So knowing that, like if you know what you know and you know this resident, trust what you know. Like don't second guess yourself and don't let somebody else talk you out of it. Oh, that's normally them. I worked with them last week and they said the same thing. No. If to you, it's not normal, it's not right, you feel like the physician needs to be notified, you feel like a note needs to be made, you feel like they need some PRN medications, or you need to go and take vital signs on this person, then you go do that. Trust yourself, trust your judgment. Um, so that is what I'm kind of working on right now as a nurse. But what I, what I know that I am strong at is I am a very quick learner. Um, I, I learn things very fast in every job I have ever taken during the training phase of that job they I, by the, the trainers always tell me wow you learn really fast like I only had to show you that once or twice and you already 
know how to do it. And I will say that I'm a fast learner because another strength of mine is that I'm very self-aware. I know how I learn. And that's a big thing, especially if you're in nursing school. I've said it before and I will say it again. You have to know how you learn. You have to know that, okay, me personally, I am a very hands-on person. It requires me doing something, doing the task myself in order to learn it. I can't read about something in a book. I, can't, I can listen to certain things, but listening to something is not going to help me as much as doing it myself or seeing a video of it being done I'm a visual learner now when it comes to me studying for the test I can be an audible learner um, but it still requires me to be sitting still in a quiet place and a lot of times even taking notes so I can visually read what I'm hearing audibly so um, I can listen to lectures in the car, but I have to listen to them a lot to memorize them, kind of like a song. Um, but really, in order, and, and I'm not the type of person, you can't read, I hate what the camera's doing. I can't read, I, you cannot read me something. I have to read it myself um, in order for me to fully understand it. I can't, you can't read me anything. I have to either read it with you or I have to read it myself. So, you know, I am, a quick learner because I know how I learn. I'm very self-aware, which means I, like I told you my weaknesses in the beginning, like it requires me to be self-aware to know what I am also weak at. And that is actually a very good strength to have as a nurse, but also to have as a person because it helps you like grow and then people can't use your weaknesses against you because you already know them. Like, it won't bother you when somebody talks to you about your weaknesses. It allows you to take constructive criticism because you're not in denial about it. You understand that, okay, this is me. That is true. I'm aware of that. Now let's find a solution to it. So that is also a, a, a strength of mine. Like, when people come to me with problems, um, as a nurse, you're going to have to run your floor. Um, whether it be making sure your CNAs are doing their job, which is a very hard task, we won't talk about that, but making sure your CNAs are doing their job, um, or just, you know, making sure, it's a lot of things that go into running your floor in the nursing home. I can't so much speak in the hospital because things are a lot different in the hospital, and I've never worked in a hospital, but running your floor in long-term care is, is hard. However, if, if somebody is having a dispute on my hall, I'm gonna help you find a problem. I'm gonna help you find a solution to it, you know? Um, and and we're, we're gonna come up with a solution to this problem together. Another strength of mine is that I'm a fair person, um, which I don't have favorites. I like everybody just the same, which sounds crazy, but I, I mean, I, I honestly very rarely like I can't really think of a situation where I just wasn't able to be fair with people or that I had like some type of favoritism. Now I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm not funny acting every now and then because I'm a woman and every woman has a funny acting bone in their body. Oh, my hit a, okay, I thought I was gonna hit a bump. My camera might have fall, fallen. Um, sorry, I got a text message, y'all. My, um, you know, I might have, a, I might act funny, but I, if I'm adding funny to one person, I'm adding funny to everybody <laughs> that night. You know what I'm saying? I might be PMSing, but I'm not just going to PMS to one person or, you know, blow up on one person because I don't like them. Now, don't get me wrong, there have been situations where, you know, people have started stuff with me or maybe picked at me a little bit because I can play kind very well or play naive sometimes. But, I mean, there's a line with me too. Like, I have my own boundaries and I have lines with me too and I do have a little firecracker in me also. So, you know, <clears throat> people kind of learn not to try to take advantage of me because I don't play them games. But, <clears throat> I will say that I am a very fair person <clears throat> when it comes to being, you know, when it comes to nursing. And I always try to make sure that the resident comes first now. I understand that 
everybody, me, every nurse, there's always gonna be <coughs> a person or a resident that just really gets on your nerves that you really just have to go the extra mile for because they're just very annoying. Sorry to say it, or their family is very hard to deal with, but I really try my hardest to be fair and to be kind to those people because those are usually the people that need it the most. So yeah, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, but yeah, so another strength of mine as a nurse would be, what would I say is another strength of mine? Why do I have to think so hard? That's sad, oh it's the sheets, I need to get off on the six and go to the sheets. Where the gas is three cents off per gallon. Oh, I'm about to slam on the brakes. My camera might fall, y'all. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm going around a curb. Sorry, y'all. I really shouldn't be doing this. Whee! That's why it's hard for me to think of my strengths because I was also looking for a freaking gas station. <laughs> Multitasking in your brain is the same thing as trying to multitask with your physical body. It is not a good idea. So I had to stop and get some gas. But what am I talking about? What am I doing? Uh, okay, so I was talking about my strengths as a nurse. And I told you guys that I'm fair, I'm self-aware, I'm a quick learner. Um, another thing that I feel like makes me a good nurse is I like to stay busy. You have some people that like to sit down all day and that's not gonna work. <laughs> if you like to sit down, you don't like to be on your feet, you don't need to be, well, I'm not gonna say you don't need to be a nurse. Maybe you need to be like a telephone triage nurse or something. Um, but cool. Sorry, y'all, that was smoke salmon. Because working... In long-term care or working at the hospital and I can always say that because I see the nurses at the hospital and they be moving all day <laughs> I'm there for 12 hours watching them and they watching me and they be on their feet all day so but one thing I will say is that there are a couple of nurses that I follow on YouTube and they're really making me see that it's more to this nurse and stuff than you think. And you can really, really build an empire off of nursing. I mean, you can travel nurse. You can be a cosmetic nurse and start your own. You know, you can be a nurse. You can be a psychiatric nurse practitioner. It's ways to get money out here. And <laughs> so ghetto. The ghetto. And, um... You know, it's, it's a lot of money to be made out here with just nursing stuff. So, I'm going to get my act together so I can be a really good nurse and build my own dynasty, honey. So, when my husband come along, he can put his with mine and we can just be building a brand. Nah, but that's all I got to say. My gas is done pumping and I'm out.